Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Ian Harris again, uh, back with another one of my uh, another one of my rants, another one of them pesky libtard facts. Look, I've been trying to keep it positive. I um, think I've been doing a pretty good job, um, and sometimes I'm just talking about stuff. I'm not even ranting. I, I talked uh, recently about uh, if the videos come out yet or not. I'm not sure about political systems and and government systems versus economic systems. I wanted to talk a little bit about taxes. Because that seems to be a big thing that people misun misunderstand. I always hear people going, I don't want to raise no taxes. Democrats always want to raise taxes. Republicans want to cut taxes. Bullshit. Bullshit. Uh, Republicans don't want to cut taxes, and, and Democrats don't want to raise taxes. Um, both want to raise taxes, and both want to cut taxes. It just depends on what they want to spend it on. The Republicans have no problem cutting the taxes for the rich and taxing you more. They have no problem spending. Look at the debt ceiling. The debt ceiling has gone crazy under Trump. You look at every—the only the presidents that have ever balanced the budget have been Democrats. Um— in the last 50 years. So uh, the, the ones that have raised the, the debt every time are the Republicans. So it's it's nonsense. Um, but what is true is that, yes, sometimes taxes need to be raised. But quit being afraid of raised taxes. What are you really afraid of? Ask yourself, are you afraid of taxes being raised? Or are you afraid of spending more money? Because those are two different things. Okay? If you make $5,000 a month, and I say I'm going to tax you at 10%, which is... $500 a month. You walk away with $4,500 a month. Okay? You walk away with $4,500 a month. But if I say, I'm going to tax you at 0%, but I'm going to take $1,000 in fees, you're making less money. Um, if I say, hey, I'm going to tax you 10%, $500 a month, uh, but I'm going to give you a free gas at the gas station, and you're spending $1,000 a month at a gas station, the tax is half it's cheaper. It's better for you to be taxed than to spend. So sometimes the reason taxes work better than spending is because we can pool our resources as a government. 340 million people, we can get better health insurance rates. We can get better rates on lots of things when we pool 340 million people. It's kind of like bundling, right? You want you want your phone, your cell, your your uh, your internet and your cable, it'll be cheaper. Okay, now if you had 20 families all pooling in, you could probably get a better rate. So that's what taxes can do. It's a matter of how it's spent. Uh, they say 57% is spent on the military industrial complex, on, 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 on defense, which is a lot of different things, not just the military. Yet they're not spending on, on helping uh, um, soldiers who come back with PTSD and, and, and health care for, for veterans. We're not doing any of that, but we're spending this bloated budget by buying bombers and shit and aircraft carriers that we don't even use sitting somewhere. We're spending billions, trillions of dollars over years on this stuff that is completely unnecessary. Um, yet we could take that money that's already being taxed, take that tax money and put it somewhere else. We could tax the rich, Okay. Now, I know a lot of you are sitting in your trailer right now going, well, I'm going to be a billionaire someday, and I don't want to be taxed at some crazy percentage, like 39%. That's nuts, man. I'm going to be a billionaire someday. As soon as I can sell off all these uh, Billy the Singing Basses I got up here, I got a whole collection of Billy Singing Basses. I'm going I'm to make billions on these Billy the Singing Bass things I got collected. And I've also collected the Lucky Bottle Caps. They got them funny little riddles on them, man. I got a whole collection. They're going to be worth something someday. I'm going to be a billionaire. Shut up. You're an idiot. Uh... You're not going to be a billionaire someday. And even if you were, guess what? You can't spend a billion dollars. You wouldn't need to spend a How many houses do you need? How many yachts do you need? You don't need it. Okay? So, uh, and why are you sticking up for these people? They don't stick up for you. You're over there making $20,000 a year li living in, in your, your trailer with 900 cousins or whatever the hell you're doing. Or, or maybe you're just middle class. Maybe you're whatever your deal is. They aren't sticking up for you. They don't care about you. The corporations don't give a single shit about you, and they're not paying any taxes. So I don't know why you want to back them up. But here's the thing with the progressive tax or a wealth tax. You hear about uh, people go, well, uh, these liberals want to tax people at, at 70%. Not true. The 70% wealth tax works like this. It's 70% over a certain number. The number a lot of people throw out is 10 million. 10 million a year, not just 10 million total, 10 million a year. So if you're making 12 million a year, here's how it works. Listen carefully, because I keep explaining this to people. It doesn't mean that at 10 million, you're getting taxed at 39%, and at 11 million, you're getting taxed at 70%. That's not what it means. What it means is you're getting taxed 
on this 10 million at the highest tax bracket, which is 39% or 37% now, uh, that's the highest tax bracket. Anything over that is taxed at 70%. Okay, so let's do the math. If you got $20 million a year, this 10 is getting taxed at 37%. Okay, 10 million, so you're getting taxed at 3.7 million. Okay, so you're taking home almost seven, six and a half million dollars from your first 10 million. Your second 10 million is at 70%. So you're only taking home 3 million of that. So you're basically getting taxed at 50%. But if you make hundreds of millions, billions, you're still walking away with a shit ton of money. Okay? It, it's really not a big deal. If you're making 10 million a year, you're making almost a million dollars a month. You're really, anything over that is, you're probably going to be able, you're probably going to be okay. You're probably going to be able to afford gas to get to the store. You're probably going to be able to afford daycare for your kid, you know, even if they do tax the 11th million at 70%, okay? It's really not a big, if you make $11 million, basically, you're, you're, you're losing an extra couple hundred thousand dollars. That's it. Um, and the rest of us are getting something for it. And we're the ones spending the money on them. We're the ones who, we're the ones buying Amazon. We're the ones paying the stuff. Jeff Bezos or Bezos or whatever his name is making trillion, billions and billions of dollars. I mean, the company over years is going to make trillions of dollars. And we're paying that. So he should be giving back to us in the form of taxes. GE doesn't pay taxes. All these companies don't pay taxes. So quit sticking up for these people and learn how a progressive tax works, okay? It's not going to affect you. It's not going to affect anybody who's not who's making even millions. It's going to tens of millions are what we're talking about. It doesn't stop them from wanting to make more money. I guarantee a guy who's making 20 million isn't going to go, oh, I'm not going to make any more money because they're taxing me. Not going to happen. It's not going to stop innovation. Jeff Bezos isn't going to be like, Sure, I made $80 billion last year, but now they want to take $10 billion of it. I'm going to stop Amazon. It's not going to happen. You're still going to buy your Billy the Best, the, your collector's items on Amazon, whatever the fuck it is. So uh, that's how progressive tax works. Uh, please look into it because uh, it, it's not going to affect you. It's only going to help you if it gives you free school and free health care and all this sort of stuff because Jeff Bezos has to pay an extra 70% on any extra billions he earns on top of the billions he makes. It won't affect him at all. He still makes more in interest than you will make in a lifetime. Okay? He's going to be fine. Thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, be sure to... to uh like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, my Facebook channel, uh, or Facebook page, I don't know what you call it, and uh, Critical and Thinking Podcast with Ty Barnett and Ian Harris every Friday at noon here on Facebook, and then on the various podcast platforms. Be sure to like that. Uh, next time we'll see you with some more of them pesky libtard facts.